What else is happening? What's on Twitter? What's trending on Twitter? Can we see, Chris? I like how that's only the thing Twitter's good for. What's, Trend, what's trending? Not missing something. Well, I think Twitter's great. I think it's I think it's everything that it's, uh, it's getting there. Uh, what's Amy Schumer doing? Is she doing some... She's eating? She's I've trending. never given money. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what has Amy Schumer said? This is this is not going away. What is not? This Israel Palestine thing. It's it's really setting the Brazilian against the leftists that they've sort of created. Isn't that good? I mean, it's, it's as a as a. You just don't think they'll contain me. it? I think it's. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's not going away, man. What you think? Like leftists are going to be going at pro Brazilian. Yeah. Because the the Palestinian the Palestinian side is the brown underdog oppressed side that the leftists are sort of gravitating towards, and they're now like they're Frankenstein's beating them back. Yeah, the goal yep. the golem is fighting back now. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So like the and there's frankly the left is saying and doing things that are downright anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm. I'm. Been, I've been asleep the whole time on this thing. I'm just like, ah, it's boring. I, I mean, avoid it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. But uh, what did it say? Hold on. Did something I post about my people being massacred upset you? My people being massacred. Yeah, the my people thing is fucking unbelievable. I, they Brazilian just wake up and stop talking <clears throat> like that. No, they're not gonna. It's not gonna happen. I know. What, what is it? What is it about? Like the. Uh, I don't understand it. Like uh, I would never. Like we. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Catholic boy. Mm -hmm. It's not a religion. It's not a religion. I'm a Canadian thing. boy. It's an ethnic. Uh, it's an ethnic thing. They they have the highest. Good God, that is right. That is hot. a chilling. Mm. That is a frightening visage. I wish I saw her in real life. I try to f her, and I call my wife first. I'm like, Hey, Jess, is it cool if I try to f me Schumer? She'd be like, Yeah, go ahead, have it. Just they have so the cool. highest in group loyalty, and they have a high enough IQ to disguise that. Um, that in-group loyalty quite quite well. I guess I think in-group loyalty is fucking core. Well, um, I mean, there's a case to be made for that, but unfortunately, if you don't have high in-group loyalty, you are you get eliminated genetically doomed yeah. to be you, to be eradicated from the face of the earth as a group. Really? Yeah. As a group, though. Mm hmm. Okay. Just just ancient ancient biblical warfare is still happening to this day, just under different names. It's it's, just, it's, it's tribal it's tribal warfare, and it's it's um it's unavo it's kind of seems unavoidable. I think it's unavoidable the the fact that there's that tribal warfare is a thing. I mean, it happens in nature all the time. It happens with fucking trees. Do it. Trees mm. have trees. Trees favor other trees with their they share nutrients. I think, mm -hmm. and they favor trees that are more genetically similar to them than true. than trees that are not. Yeah, so, like birch trees don't fuck just, with any of the trees. That's just the way of uh, that's just the way of nature. And um, white people, I think, uh, are uh, currently getting beat down pretty pretty hard with um, um, white guilt, and that's why they have this lowered in one reason why they have this lowered in group loyalty. I think for now. For we'll now, see if it'll yeah. change. Yeah, we'll see. But I guess the qu the question is, is like, uh, you went when you say it's not going away, right? Uh, how do you see it like man, playing out? You think it, we're just gonna get dragged into the th three? I don't know. I think I think it's if I was if I was Brazilian, I'd be pretty fucking worried right now. Because <clears throat> on Twitter, Brazilians are getting like dragged. Like Twitter is like the Nazi. It's like not Nazi. Nazi. What a fuck. It's fucking. It's leftists that are that are doing. Twitter is like. Uh, in in my opinion, in my opinion, Twitter is a pretty. It's it seems pretty well representative of what people actually think now, um, and uh, whether you whether you like it or not, I've the the black people that I follow on Twitter, the white people, the the uh, racists that I follow on Twitter, the stuff that they're saying, it does it doesn't seem like there's anything really out of whack, like any there's any any messages that are getting boosted too much on Twitter, like out of proportion to, to way, the way people feel. And it just seems the vibe, the temperature right now is that people really don't like Trump. Brazilian. Mm. And it's, uh, it seems like it's getting safer and safer to say that. And um, like this model. Never thought I'd see the day. I never thought I'd see the day. This model comparing Israel to Nazis. It's, it's, it's Israel that they, they say the issues with, but it's Israel is. Brazilian. Um, 
So, you know, if I, w- if I was just not looking good, man, if I was Brazilian, I'd be worried. Good? That's, that's what I mean, but it's not going away. <laughs> good? Welcome to the party. That's the only thing you can say. Well, I mean... Who, I mean, is it, are they really going to, like, are, like American... Brazilian. Like, is Amy... Not, nothing's going to happen to them. Uh, well, no, that's not true. Oh. I think a few of them get canceled. Amy, Amy Schumer's not going to be killed, but this whole... Everything is inter, interdependent on everything else, and, uh... For, I mean, fucking 100 years, uh, the the have kind of controlled media or been at, been at the position of the the highest position of power in in media. I'm ceasing to see the, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm stupid. Remember, I'm the mayonnaise guy, so there's a big ball in my head. Well, why it's a bad thing? Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just oh, saying it's, it's a, it's, oh, it's saying a from, from there's a huge, it's, it feels like there's a huge change uh, brewing. Mm. Oh yeah. And it's just what, like, ooh, ooh, freaky. See, I guess I saw it like that the whole time. Mm-hmm. I feel like people could have saw that the whole time and I guess I didn't. Mm-hmm. I was expecting like the plumbers and everybody to be like, come on. And then you're like, you're like yo, you don't know Brazilian on Hollywood? And they're like, what? Mm-hmm. I watch Rain- Texas Ranger, and you're like, oh, shit, I didn't even know. Oh, I'm on the retard side. Mm-hmm. I just assume it's everything's intentional. I have a different sort of take on these things, and I assume that the the allowing of the of this this pushback to happen is intentional and will just uh, will push backs closer to the wall and make the repri- reprisal more extreme. I just assume everything is scripted. You know how I Well, think. I think, I mean, if yeah. you, when you assume that everything's intentional and scripted, what you're assuming is that people have... That someone somewhere has the ability to perfectly plan something, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and what what have we ever planned that's gone even fifty percent the way that we, that we thought it would? I guess nothing. Like literally nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. And like even like World Peace Two was successful, but it's not. It wasn't successful because anybody planned it that mm-hmm. way. It was successful because ingredients and like things came together organically, and we didn't. We hadn't lost our edge. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we worked hard. And I don't, I don't mean a commercial success, but I just mean the product, the, stu- the stuff that we've shot, the, yeah. f- the stage that it's in right now, mm. it's, it's safe to say that artistically it's a success. But it's not, it's not because of planning. It's yeah, not, it's no. like, the sh- just, you, know, no. you, know, you know the shots we get? Like mm. everything's a fucking accident. Everything's yeah. a, everything is in a fucking accident, man. Um, <clears throat> so like, uh, and that's, that's in a studio, with actors that we're paying and cameramen that we're directing, like this is in a, a con, like as controlled of an environment as possible. Um, that's just, I, I've never, I've never seen uh, anything in my entire life where someone planned something and it went 80% of that, the way that they thought it was going to go. Right. Mm. Yeah. And um, it's, it seems more likely to me that if you, were cre- if you were in control of media, academia, etc., and you con- you created this um, sort of like phalanx of useful idiots and people to people to um, intimidate and criticize and shut down shut down free speech. You created this like the woke leftist stuff. You caused that to come into being. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it just aligns with everything that I've everything I've read in like Greek tragedy, et cetera. Like it just it makes sense that it would turn on them eventually. But now I think I it feels like it feels like we are seeing the fucking the golem the fucking golem story. Yep, happening right right now. Prague Prague golem coming back. Yep. Huh. The leftist yeah. thing feels like a biblical golem that they've yep. created, and it feels like it's turning on its on its master now. Okay. That's what it feels like. I don't mean. I don't know what that's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I definitely, I don't argue with irrefutable logic, and I'm here to learn. So, but I just think in like these biblical, and I'm not Mister Bible or warfare. It's just, uh, I just, it's irrefutable the logic of what you said. So it makes sense. But your your take is that it's you suspect that there's some that the powers that be somehow this is part of the plan they're going to flip it i assume it's part of the plan because the powers that be have no names and they're not of this world so it's it's hard to um it's hard to assume that these things that i mean look i'm just theorizing but if they're if they're taking dmt they're talking to the freaking the jesters on the other side these things are 
I mean, this is just speculative, but these things are, you know, alive for a million years or something like that. Like uh, mm. these, I just don't assume the overlords that are strong enough to conquer a world make mistakes. But that's what I'm, I'm down with logic too. I enjoy, I kind of enjoy how things are kind of seesawing a little bit. Well, when I when I start to, start to suspect that, what I what I think is why is their domination not more complete? It's just to, to create a world of uh, of happy slaves is is necessary. Like it can't always be uh, a fighting thing. You have to get people to be down with it and then happy with it. Otherwise, they don't co cooperate, and you straight up have to kill them. You can't corral them. Hmm. That's what it, it seems like to me. Like every like how, how everyone's down with everything in Hollywood and even taxes and stuff <clears> like that. Plane tickets, paying for gas forever, space, the space project, freaking the budget, trillions of trillions of dollars. It just uh, if you get people down with that and you make you make their lives so miserable they don't even have time to think of how bad their life is. It's it seems like that's more of a an infallible plan than outright like brutality or military force. Mm -hmm. That's just how I assume that. These Bible, these Bible things work because it's been going on for a couple thousand years. Allegedly. I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense too. Imagine uh, if this was all for harvesting Coca-Cola piss. Nothing surprises me. Oh, like uh, An Anunnaki Coca-Cola piss. Uh, mm -hmm. Joe Rogan talks about it being gold. What Coca-Cola piss? Like they keep us all. They keep us all. You know, like why would they? Why wouldn't it be more complete? Or like why wouldn't a total? Uh, it, it would be easy for them if it was like that. They could snap their fingers and be able to like end game this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like you want them in prisons? Fine. Let's bang, zzz, laser a country, zzz, like war weapons. Zzz. It's not. It's not about that. It's. It's about. It's. It's a war on heaven and a war on God. So it's not about controlling the people. It's about getting them to willingly separate themselves from God. Is what the ultimate war is. Like it's. It's more than people think of just a prison planet. It's a war on heaven. That is. Uh, that the only way to explain this. Because that could. Because uh, heaven and God could tr transcends everything. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's like some Satan's bargain or something. Like I can get your, your, your these people to willingly separate from. I mean, well, it's the re, it's the reversal, uh, <clears throat> the reversal of a hierarchy, like the um, taking the lowest people, taking the the uh, Starbucks baristas with f barely ninety IQ yep. points that are just not complete inversion. Having them be at the top of the hierarchy and having having what is holy children, babies, mm -hmm. be at the bottom of the hierarchy. Yep. Just being Killed in the, killed in the womb. That'd be like a suffocation on uh, of humans because the weight of it would just kill you if you if you if you put retards on the top down, it's like building an upside down pyramid. Yep, the inverted pyramid. It's always it's always around.